Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section we learn the material estimation just for a circular water tank A few friends just ask the material estimation for a circular water tank That's why I'm doing this guy today now Alright uh, Let's just start the calculation over here And of course I'll do just an example right in this example, we are just asked to work out cement, sand, crest stone, and of course the steel by this given water tank. Where is water tank? L let me just draw it. Okay, wait a minute. How can I draw it? Let me just think. Alright, uh, uh, let's go. Say this is just a plan. Alright, the diameter, uh, 4 meter, and this one upset is just 15 centimeter. And this another one, the last offset is just 10 centimeter. How will be a section? Let me just do this guy over here. This is the base and wall with base. This is the slave. All right. And uh, this is RCC 124 and 15 centimeter thickness. And this is of course PCC of 124. And the slave is also RCC 124 and 10 centimeter thickness. Of course, this, there is also just uh, like a hole over here and the hole is just circular right and the diameter is just 60 centimeter and some other things are also known like the depth and the steel is just 1% and number 4 bar will be used also this PCC thickness is given as 10 centimeter right so I think uh, these details are enough to calculate all these things these required things right I'll just come straight into solutions over here. In the solution, my first approach is the PCC work. Just to look at over here at the base, we have PCC 124, alright? And this external circle just represent the PCC work. And the thickness is also given 10 cm. If I just calculate the area of this circle, and I'll multiply the thickness with the area, so I can get the PCC work, like this guy. The area will be pi d squared divided by 4 times the thickness. I can get the PCC work, right? And this will be just in palm of volume. Uh, just let a let, we'll just go in detail to calculate cement sand and grass stone in the same PCC work, right? And there, that will be just let a let, right? So plug and check in. And remember, uh, uh, which one diameter should I plug over here in this equation? The d square, right? The diameter, just look at over here, I should plug the diameter of the external circle right so I'll add uh, 15 centimeter to one side and another side and 10 centimeter to one side and another side this will give me the external circle diameter which is of course 4 centimeter plus 15 and 15 centimeter which is 30 centimeter and 10 one side and 10 another side so 20 centimeter 13 plus 20 equals 15 centimeter and 15 is just of course 0.5 meter so 4 plus 0.5 meter is just 4.5 meter right so the diameter is just 4.5 meter all right so pi times 4.5 squared divided by 4 times the thickness thickness is just 10 centimeter which means 0.1 meter right so when you do little mathematics with this guy of course you can get 1.59 cubic meter this is of course the PCC work right at the base and my next approach is just the RCC work in this uh, base and uh, in this wall right and this is of course quite simple so I can say RCC work in the wall just right but here is a problem we have uh, the base which is over here this one and the walls I'll just uh, make these guys uh, separately, right? Like in this palm, I'll call this guy as uh, the segment 1 and the wall is segment 2. So I'll just calculate uh, segment 1 estimation pass to our hair, the volume, right? And again, I'll use the same formula for d squared divided by 4 times the thickness. But which one should I, diameter should I take over here? Remember, the second circle just represent uh, this guy, the RCC, the, this, this RCC base, right? So, uh, the diameter of the second circle is just 4 plus 15 centimeter to one side and 15 centimeter to another side. 
15 and 15 equals 30 so 4 plus 30 centimeter is just 3 point, uh, 4.3 meter right of course so the diameter will be just 4.3 meter so plug and check in we can get of course pi times 4.3 square divided by 4 times the thickness is just 15 centimeter right and this is given and of course this circle uh, make 15 centimeter just little height no problem this is not 5 centimeter right this is 15 centimeter all right so times 0.15 because 15 centimeter is just 0.15 meter right do let me mathematics with this guy of course you can get 2.178 cubic meter and this is the rcc work of this segment one now the rcc work for segment two is quite simple right and the segment two is just like a uh, I mean, uh, um, just like a ring in section. Just look at this guy, right? And this is just a water tank. And right? this is just um, the articulate modeling. No problem. So uh, the inside is just like a hole, like like a pipe, right? So I just subtract uh, in formula the inside diameter. I mean, uh, the diameter of inside circle from external diameter. So I can get the ring area, right? Then I'll multiply the ring area with this depth. Of course, I can get its volume, right? And this is good, I think. So I can say the area will be just, and remember the diameter, the internal diameter is just 4 meter. The external will be just 4.3, right? Because 15 centimeter to one side and 15 centimeter to another side. We we'll just add, right? So the formula will be just pi d1 square negative d square divided by 4 times the depth. D1 just represent this this 4.3 meter right which is the diameter of this second circle and the D is of course just this internal diameter right so plug and check in we can get of course the RCC work in wall pi times D1 is just 4.3 square negative D is 4 square divided by 4 times the depth is just 3 meter if you do little mathematics with this, you can get 5.867 cubic meter. And of course, I, I think this this is not much challenging, right? You can ask if you have a question and comment. You can call me too, right? No problem. We'll solve any problem. Okay. And again, I can say RCC in this lab. This is also RCC slab, right? And the formula will be the same, right? Pi d squared divided by 4 times the thickness of this slab because the slab is just circular, right? But which one diameter should I plug over here? Look at the slab is a, a just right place on these walls, right? And the diameter of our wall was just 4.3 meter. So the slab diameter will be also taken 4.3 meter, right? So I'll just plug 4.3 meter in this d place so pi times 4.3 squared divided by 4 times the thickness is just 0 0.1 just look at our hair it is already mentioned our hair right uh, rcc 1 to 4 and 10 centimeter 10 centimeter just represent the thickness right so you can get 1.45 2 cubic meter as rcc you work in this lab but here we have just a hole having diameter 60 centimeter. I'll just subtract this hole, right? So I can say deduction just for this hole. And the formula will be the same because the hole is just circular, right? So pi d squared divided by 4 times the thickness. And the diameter is just 60. It means 0 0.6 meter. So pi times 0 0.6 squared divided by 4 times the thickness is also 0.1 which is the thickness of slab, right? So equals 0 0.028, two cubic meter. This is deduction, right? So I'll just subtract uh, uh, this deduction from the RCC work in the slab from this 1.452, right? So subtract 0 0.028, two from 1.452. You can get 1.423 cubic meter. So this, this is of course the net volume, right? Or the net quantity of this slab, the RCC slab. Now, what will be the total RCC work? 
I just add all these guys. This one plus this one RCC and wall plus this one RCC and slab. So I can get the total RCC work equals 2.178, which is RCC work in wall segment one plus 5.867, which is RCC work in the wall segment two plus the RCC work just per RCC slab, right? So I add all these guys together, you can get, of course, 9.468 cubic meter, right? Now let's just calculate the steel, right? And the steel is, of course, number four bar. And it's, of course, at the rate of 1%, right? Of all RCC volume. So it's just 1%. And to remove the percent sign, we just divide this guy by one zero zero, right? If we have one percent steel and one hundred cubic meter, how much will be just in nine point four six eight cubic meter, which is the total RCC work? So we can get point zero nine four six eight cubic meter steel. And the steel is just in form of volume, right? I don't need this guy in form of volume. I'll convert this guy into kg, right? By multiplying 7850, which is the unit weight of my steel bar, right? And this is, of course, uh, 7850 kg per cubic meter, right? So you can get, of course, 744 kg steel over here per this water tank. Now let's talk about the total net RCC work, right? Uh, to calculate the cement stain cross stone, right? And this is uh, and this will be just assumed as PCC. Say how? This is just total RCC work containing the steel, right? I'll just subtract steel from this, which is 0 0.09468 cubic meter steel. So I can say 9.468 negative the volume of steel which is of course 9.373 cubic meter and, and this will be just assumed as PCC right because we have already detected the steel from this RCC work so this will be just assumed as PCC and the total PCC work is just of course 1.59 plus this guy 9.373 so the total PCC work is just 10.963 cubic meter. And now let's calculate cement, stand and cross stone from this PCC work. All right, uh, I'll just start uh, a new page because I have not quite many rooms in this page. All right, so the total PCC work, which is 124 equals 10.963 cubic meter. And my approach is just cement, sand, and of course, cross stone. For this approach, you can of course watch a nice video in the same playlist. I have already explained all these guys in this and that lecture, right? And this is just a screenshot of that lecture. I have another screenshot, this one. I have another screenshot, this one. You can of course watch that lecture first. And, and, and I of course recommend you to watch that lecture first. Because uh, that lecture contain a lot of information about PCC, right? And the material calculation for PCC. So, uh, j just watch that one. I'll just go over here a little quickly, right? So, uh, to calculate any material, we have a nice formula, which is the ratio of material divided by sum of ratio times dry volume. This formula will give me just the volume of any material, right? Like I can say, if I want to calculate cement, I have the ratio of cement equals 1. Just look at the ratio, it's 1 to 4. 1 just represents the ratio of cement. So it's 1 divided by sum of ratio. Where is sum of ratio? We'll just add all these three ratios, right? 1 to 4. Just look at over here. The ratio is just 1 to 4. Add all these guys, right? We can get 7. So divided by 7 times the dry volume. Now the dry volume is just little challenging over here. Let me just solve this guy over here, right? And the dry volume is just of course the wet volume times 
1.54 which is of course 54 percent of total volume right so i can just plug this volume the total pcc work volume just over here in this equation we can get the dry volume equals the wet volume is just 10.963 times 1.54 we can get the dry volume equals 16.883 cubic meter all right plug this guy over here in this equation we can get of course 2.41 cubic meter cement but the cement is in palm of volume i need to convert this guy into bags right so i'll just divide this volume by 0 0.035 which is of course 68.8 bags why 0 0.035 because 0 0.035 Cubic meter is one cement bag volume over here in Pakistan. I don't know about all, all, all just all countries, right? If your country bag volume is just little different, no problem, you can use your country bag volume over here in this equation. And my next approach is just send. I can use the same formula. But over here, I'll just show you the alternative method over here, right? Just look at the ratio. In the ratio we have 2 is the ratio of send which is of course what does this 2 mean over here right what does it mean of course it means the, the send is just two times of cement right of course I have the volume of cement if I multiply the volume of cement with 2 of course I can get the send volume right so 2.41 times 2 equals 4.82 cubic meter is sent. And the next thing is the budgery. And of course this is known by Creston, no problem, right? Over here we use the budgery world. I think the budgery world is not good over here. But no problem, this is Creston, right? And just look at over here in this ratio. The ratio of Creston is just 4. What does four mean? It means the crust stone is just four times of cement. So I'll just multiply the volume of cement with four. I can get the volume of crust stone, right? So 2.41 times four equals 9.64 cubic meter. And this is really good, I think, right? And here is our detailed result. The cement is just six, nine bags. The sand is just 4.82 cubic meter. The crust stone is just 9.64 cubic meter. And of course, the steel is just number 4 bar, which is of course 744 kg. And this is how we can just estimate the material just per circular water tank. Not only per circular water tank, right? You can use this method for any structure, no problem, okay? Alright, so um, the dimension may be just a little change, but the concept and the calculation method will be the same, right? And it's good. And nothing is just left. So thank you for watching. See you next time. And wassalam.